What is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the best class setup and attachments for the SWS 10R in Battlefield 2042. First we're going to show some clips and at the end of the video I will be explaining why I picked everything I did so stay tuned for that. What is going on guys? You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. I will be showing you my personal favorite class setup for the SWS 10 that I've found to be the most effective. Uh, we'll jump straight into it. For the site, I just use the normal six times. In the backup, I have the eight times and the 3.5. Um, eight times I don't use, three five I might on some close quarters engagements, but six times I think is just good enough. On the ammunition, I'm using the high power. Standard issue extended mag and standard issue mag. Um, if you don't know in the game, if you run out of ammo with whatever mag the gun has in it, like when you spawn, if you switch mags, you have refilled ammo. You don't need a crate near you. So that's why I have the extended mag first. And I feel like there's no other ammunition that I personally would use. Um, so I just have the standard issue. Under barrel, laser sight, in my opinion, is the best. Uh, those close quarters when you just need to hip fire, someone runs up on you, I feel like it's the best. Um, backups, I have the Rattlesnake Light Grip and the BCG Light Grip. Kind of both the same thing, I'm not sure the exact difference there. Barrel, most important part. Extended barrel absolutely makes this gun feel 10 times better. Use this if you can. Um, I feel like the rate of fire is not slow. I feel like it's still quick. But if you do think it is slow, you can have the uh, shortened barrel in your backpack slide on there whenever you want and a factory barrel as well and for operators specialists i think uh sundance has been my favorite just for the grenade belt and also the wingsuit is really good if you're 
um, trying to kind of fly around, not be seen with that huge parachute. The only other ones I would use is going to be McKay for his grapple. He can move around a lot easier. Um, if I did have her, I would use Pyke. I think that's how you say it. But uh, acquisition's huge. I think that for a sniper is going to be awesome. Uh, EMG X scanner, of course, that's going to be good. And then uh, Falk is also a good one if you're into helping your team out a lot, healing, things like that. But for my loadout, um, I have this on Assault, but I do have the medical crate, so I feel like I'm kind of throwing that in there. So uh, that's the class setup. I hope you guys enjoy. If you hit any clips with this, anything you'd like to send me, all my socials are down below. Hope you guys have a good day. Later.